One of the things about this show that makes it unique is there's a show within a show. There's a, there's a play that you're producing within the arc of the series. And yeah. we get to watch your character's personal struggles. The kids are against the idea originally. The school board's against the idea. The town is against the idea. And there's, there's, this, there's this thing hanging over the whole series of there could be a very public failure. Yeah. It just made me think about when you become famous, when there are stakes that are real, yeah. There's opportunities for failures on a much grander scale, public yes, failures. Yes, 100%. And I wonder how, like, if you related to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, there's certain role. I, pl I played this morphine-addicted surgeon in the Civil War in the show called right, Mercy, Mercy Street. Street. Yeah. yeah. I did a ton of research because I was like, this is a whole other thing I got to step into. Lou... <laughs> I know what it's like to be in the Midwest. I know what high schools are like. I know what drama departments are like. I know what it's like to be 43. I think we're around the same age, me and the character, right? So there were so many parallels uh, emotionally and psychologically of what was going on with him, you know, not wanting to repeat certain things he had done, trying to step into something new, trying to take you these risks, and the, the attendant um, fear of failure, that uh, possibility of failure that comes right. along with that. I think it was around the seventh episode, I had like a little panic attack. It was in the middle, of, I don't know if it was in the middle of the night or before I'd gone to bed, or I was trying to learn lines, and I was convinced that I had blown it. Like I was blowing it, like I was not good at like this. Like in general. Just generally, like I was being a bad actor and Lou was not coming through, or I was playing him wrong, or I had a wrong take on him, just something. And then I, I, it occurred to me that the episode we were working on was where Lou loses total faith in himself. And I realized that I was so dropped into the character that I was having a, a, a parallel experience as an actor. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like the the very feeling was proving that you were doing it yes, right. Yes, exactly. And, 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 and I talked to someone, they said, well, do you see what a great sign this is? Like how dropped in you are to the character that if you really take on, I used to think that, no, I'm an actor, I, I leave it at the office, I go home, right? But the older I'm getting, I see that the characters that you end up playing are the characters that only you could play. But like, oh, that's why I had to play that part, or that's why I got that part. Yeah. I needed to explore something, I needed to look at some demons, I needed to shed some old stuff. And then, um, but with this one, I 100% um, I related to his um, yearning to break out of something, a rut and also his fear that he would crash and burn. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, then why not subscribe? Click right here for lots more off camera. And if you wanna see the hour long version of these conversations, I'm gonna give you the secret link. Here it is, offcamera.com. Check it out.